Alright, um, restarting from the beginning because of some issues. Um, this is the last step that you have to do to export the models. To do this, you need several other applications basically to grab, well, you basically need all the stuff to compile the model into the Counter-Strike Source Engine. So where you need to go, I've put them all right here, and I can grab these and zoom in on them, and I'll post them in the comments for the link uh, for this post or movie or whatever. Um, the three programs you need are um, you need Prowl Porter from Maya. That's to get it out of Maya and into the SMD format the MDLD compiler to grab the MDL, or actually to um, extract the SMDs you need for the uh, from the MDL file. The GCF will grab, GCF, yeah. The third program, GCFscape, grabs the, um, it basically grabs the MDL file, or you use it to grab the MDL file. So what you do is you go open up GCFscape and go to the Steam Apps folder. <coughs> go to Counter Strike Source Shared because we're using the knife model. You want to go to C Strike Models Weapons. And here you will find every model for Counter-Strike Source, basically, and any other game if you get the right GCF file. What we're looking for is all of these files. Everything for the V knife under uh, V underscore knife underscore T. You'll notice that it's not all just um, MDL files. There are some other files you do need all five of these files. Put it in a folder so you have them. The next step is uh, you should be able to close that now. Close GCF Scape. Uh, next step is you will have to use MDL Decompiler. Um, MDL Decompiler when you download it you get an exe and a readme. It'll tell you where to install it but I'll save you five seconds and basically tell you username, source SDK, bin, e uh, EP1, uh, bin, and then you place it right here, or in this folder. So double click MDL decompiler. I'm not sure if Steam has to be running. I did run into issues earlier with MDL decompiler. But um, I have gotten it to work. So what you want to do is check dump old unweighted SMDs and do not fix rotations on animations. Don't ask me why. Um, so go in here. You want to find your MDL file first. So there's the knife model. And I'm going to put the file in my drive. I'm actually I'm gonna test this because for some reason putting it on the desktop actually I should I should test it. Maybe it'll work now. Let me go to the desktop and put it there because when I did it last time it would not do it properly. So you select that folder, you hit extract, you hit OK, you hit OK. So okay then it did work. Um okay. So or did it? Hmm. Hmm. I guess it didn't. Let me try it again. I made a new folder in that folder. I'm going to export it to there. Hit select. Complete dumping model. Okay. 
So I guess you can't do it in the same, or my computer's laggy. I'll just say my computer's laggy. So here you go. Um, the, whoops, oh, I'll close that. All right, so you have all these files. And now what you have to do, uh, I would recommend, um, just so you have it, I would open the SMD files with a program like WordPad. WordPad's pretty okay. Uh, this is a SMD file, and these files contain your model. And you'll notice that the draw is the animation, which has the time and stuff. Uh, I'm not going to get into all the syntax and stuff if you want. Uh, I mean, I might do animations and stuff later, but we're not going to worry about animations. We're going to worry about the modeling. This is the knife T reference. The only thing I just want to point out is that the texture is shown here. If this doesn't show your texture, it probably means that your model did not compile correctly or you had bad location. Uh, speaking of file locations, I should go over that. Um, in fact, I'm going to have to create the project for the knife model because I did not um, do that on this partition. So you'll get to see how it's done. Basically, actually, I'm just going to do it now on my own. Um, this is the. Uh, I looked at the uh, Palmer's Prop Export Guide, and this is the one they recommended. But it doesn't really matter what it is, but you have to you have to stay consistent with your um, file locations and such. Um, you have a root folder where projects start. So in this case, I'm going to start it in test mod. SRC, which is on Steam, Steam Apps, Source Mods. TestMod SRC is going to be the folder that um, the project folder. You're going to have a Materials folder. Actually, I think it's Material SRC, and then a Models folder. And in here, you're going to have all of your textures. And yes, you need to do this. You need to have a specific folder for the textures, otherwise it will not work. You need to be grabbing them from there. At least that's what I conclude from lots and lots of testing of this stuff. So here's my toy sword .tga. Uh Actually, no wait. I want to use bake sword .tga. No, I'm not going to recreate my file. <laughs> on this partition. That'd be too much work. So bakesword.tga is in that folder. There's going to be another folder in here. Actually, no. I don't want it here. I want it here. Inside of the test mod SRC folder. Model underscore sources. This is where you're going to export your SMD file. Um, I also like to uh, compile my models from this folder as well. It just seems to work better. For some reason, Steam hates spaces at some times. Sometimes it'll work with spaces, sometimes it won't. So it's usually good to not have any spaces inside of your um, file locations. 